differential diagnosis of uh, multiple ring enhancing lesions as you can see here it's uh, in the cerebral white matter you can and white matter gray matter junction you see multiple small ring enhancing lesions there's the other place in the sagittal section in the axial section the contrast is too high so you cannot visualize this in the video but it is showing multiple uh, ring enhancing lesions and not a single enhanced lesion as you can see now to remove the glare with uh, a ring enhancement and central high point intensity Again, there is ring enhancement, central high point intensity, and surrounding edema. Same thing can be seen here also in the sagittal section of MRI. This will pose a diagnostic dilemma. Now, Reading is straight from mypacks.com, the discussion part. So, tuberculosis and neurocystic psychosis pose a diagnostic challenge because they share certain common morphologic features. And even worse scenario is when they coexist. Our case illustrates well some features that are quite distinct for TB because the T2 image shows the central hypointensity with the hyperintense rim, whereas the T1 image shows the central isointensity with the hypointense rim. On uh, giving a gadolinium contrast, the hypointense rim in T1 enhances, whereas the central ISO intensity remains the same. This is quite opposite. To what is found classically in neurocystic psychosis. Moreover, in neurocystic psychosis, the inner lesion is placed eccentrically within the ring. The presence of clusters, as seen here, is has not been reported any time, and calcification is more common in neurocyst psychosis, though it is also seen in tuberculosis. So that is how we differentiate tuberculosis from neurocyst psychosis in a patient with uh, multiple small ring enhancing lesions in the brain. Thank you.